So what's clear, you know, what we've learned over time is two things. One is that there's a very small subset, um, kind of on-label PD-1, because Pembro's not the only PD-1, but on-label PD-1 for um, MMR, MSI, et cetera. So this, that just, if we don't test for that, it's 0%. So it, it's 3% or something like that. That's an important subset. That being said, in an unselected patient population, we know that um, there's been multiple phase three trials that are, that are negative. So um, it's, you know, there are many diseases where PD-1 or PD-L1 works well alone or in combination, clearly not in prostate cancer without selection. Um, so we need to continue to work on that, maybe either with selection or with different combinations. So. Um, this is a little self-serving because I have a trial with it, but um, radiation, so for instance, um, using PSMA-targeted um, alpha radiation, uh, we presented um, the phase one part of a trial at um, ASCOGU 2023, um, and that looked interesting. That's now in a randomized phase two. Um, the design is really to make um, pembrolizumab plus an air signaling inhibitor actually work with the addition of PSMA-targeted radiation. So. Anyway, immune kind of bland, a regular immune checkpoint inhibition um, has been disappointing. You know, there's some combinations with CTLA-4 that have some efficacy, but also toxicity. So, you know, I, I think that they, they need, we need more work in terms of both patient selection and or uh, different types of drugs.